Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So you can see I have no makeup on, it's because I want to do like a get ready with me with you guys. And also like first impression of some of these products I've laid out here as well. And also probably answer some of the questions um, on YouTube which I've asked you guys to like ask me some questions so I can do like a little Q&A because I haven't done it before and I wasn't sure like how many people would actually respond to it. But there was like a few like handful of you guys that actually ask some questions so I'm gonna answer them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a foundation and this one is the Chateau La Beauté Wine Balm Foundation. Usually when I do like a foundation review, I don't put any like primer or anything on because I want to see whether it is long lasting or not and how it survives on my skin. So most likely I will be leaving this foundation on my face for a while, like probably like the whole day and then come back with you guys, um, to you guys and tell you like my thoughts of it as well. So first impression of this is actually very very pretty. Like it has like this, um, I don't know, like snake skin texture looking thing and it says like labo, labo on it, which is very pretty, very nice like rose gold theme. Open it up, big mirror, very good and the cushion is like a pointy one which really reminds me of like the Laneige one. I haven't tried the Laneige one before but yeah and look at that, this is the balm. I'm sure like each color represent like different features for the face but from what I recall you are supposed to like blend it together I'm pretty sure so let's try and the color I chose for this one is number 23 which is the darkest okay let's try this so we're gonna swirl it okay oh yeah so it's not too bad and it's not too sticky at the moment. It's a bit light on my skin, but I reckon it's doable. The balm is actually quite compact, like it's very um, solid. It's actually, um, I feel like it's actually sticking to my skin really nicely. This question someone asked is what makes you love Korean makeup slash skincare? I started um, exploring Korean makeup more probably like six years ago now and the reason why I started exploring that is because of the packaging I was like I just couldn't believe like how adorable like Korean makeup can be and also like probably how affordable it is like I used to be very obsessed with buying a lot of like Western makeup and stuff and I still do but I buy more Korean makeup now and I feel like over the years it has gone so much better like Korean makeup and I just continue loving it and buying it and doing reviews for you guys. And with Korean skincare, I only started exploring Korean skincare probably just like a few years ago as well. Um, I just mix and match my skincare, I wasn't really fast. But now I notice a lot of my um, skincare is also from um, Korean ones as well. Man, my skin is dry. Like this foundation pick up like all of my dry patches guys. Like all of it. Like the whole top. Don't know if you guys can see. I'll show you guys a close up soon. Oh my goodness. Like my skin. I probably need to like explore it. Like the whole top is like really dry. The side is really dry. <gasps> The thing is, my wedding is coming up, like, in like, four days time. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. So definitely need to explore it. But I feel like because of the sticky bum texture, it just clings onto every single dry patches that you have. The other thing I noticed with this foundation balm is that it doesn't come with like a cover, like a lid on top, which is very weird. But um, in regards of the colour, it is nice. It gives you like a very uh, glowy finish as you can see. It does cover a lot of my pores which is good. Um, it is quite sticky though and I'm just not, not happy with the top at all. Like the dry patches. Like I don't even think that I want to leave it on for so long to be honest because yeah this is it's pretty bad eh? like it's either my skin is really bad or the foundation is not doing well on dry skin but we will continue now the next question is what are the products 
makeup slash skincare that you will buy over and over again like your absolute favorite i was thinking of doing like a um, video on that but i'll show you guys a few um because i will be putting it on my face anyway so this tony moly perfect eyes brow master like i love this so much i use this so many times of it and i feel like it's gonna run run down really really soon but basically this is like a three in one but i only use like the the main part which is the um the brown pencil one and then when you open this up it also has like this um color mascara brow thing and then it has like the brown mascara as well but i only use the main one which is this one and then the color is number three I'm not sure if this is the darkest but this is the one that really suit me and it's like a dark brown color and i just like like how easy it is to actually just put on your brows and like the color i feel like really matches me too which is great A few people have asked me what are your favorite Korean beauty brands for makeup or um, skincare. So I have a few favorite. Um, I can't really choose which one I really like the most, but there's like a handful that I like. So I like Heda, I like Petty Peta. I do like Etude House for like certain products as well. I love Innisfree. Um, Clear is pretty good as well. So yeah, it's just a few handful. There's no like, I'm not really a fussy person. There's no like like certain product I would like obsess with for a very long time I explore a lot of different products so yeah I also have this Laneige Real Cover Cushion Concealer this is number 23 Sand it fascin fascinated me because it looks very different so it's just like your typical Laneige simple design and when you open up it has like this worn pencil worn looking thing and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to like like push it for the concealer to come out oh looks like a squeezy huh so it reminds me a lot of like the um the Maybelline under uh, like under eye concealer but it's not really coming out yeah and I wasn't I was worried that um oh cool it has like this one thing so I might just use Maybe that's what it is, like you use the wand and then you use the cushion to like conceal. Not sure how this concealer will go with the foundation, but let's just try it a little bit. I'll just put a little bit, just to try. I think that's enough. And then use this to smudge it out. I guess this is like a smudger, but I feel like it smudged quite well, but I feel like it gives you like that wispy finish in the end So I'm just going to use my finger to just put it in The concealer matches the foundation, which is good Let's go with the eyeshadow And this is from the brand W Lab I really like their W Lab cushion as well, which is really good And this is their selfie eyeshadow palette Never tried their eye palette before, so I thought I'll give it a try And this one is in best shot it's called best shot this palette which is cool give it your best shot so it comes with like a cupboard thing and i chose this color because i love the um rose gold theme look at that it's so pretty it has like this lid so for my from what i can see it has like two matte finish um one very frosty like glittery eyeshadow and three shimmer can you guys hear the train before I continue, I'm just going to have some tea before I do my eyeshadow. So this is from the brand Atimi and this is like a rose scented. I'll put the link down below for you guys. But I thought I'd give this a try because I really wanted to get this one because of this. Let me open, Ooh. open it up. So it has like this sieve thing which means that when you put any like um, leaf, uh, tea leaf inside the um, the tea leaf doesn't come out because of the sieve and so I thought this is really handy because I drink this a lot at work because at my work I can't have like hot drink in like a, like a mug, it has to be a travel mug and I'm very picky with my travel mug because yeah 
So like this is solely just for tea so I thought I'll give this a try and this rose leaf is actually very scented it's like really nice like I love anything that is rose type like I also have like rose tea with me so I thought just give this a try and see how this goes so it's actually really really nice so I'll yeah and it's like it, I think it keeps warm for like four hours so like when I was at work like it lasted me for a very long time because sometimes when I make my drink I tend to forget that I've made it and then I go back to it and I'm like oh it's still quite warm so that's pretty good so yeah definitely recommend this if you guys are like a tea drinker or like if you're like a busy person like don't have time to drink tea I would recommend getting this because if you forget about it you can go back and give it you know drink it while it's still warm I'm gonna get a fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip in this brown it does have a little bit of fallout but that's okay it's doable so I'm just gonna Put it on my crease which is a little bit tricky because of my eyelash extension but yeah um some of you guys have asked me my inner city and my age and stuff so i am 27 this year so i am half malaysian chinese and i am a quarter thai and a quarter indian so yeah my mom is half thai half indian so that makes me quarter of each and equals to half and half plus half one. But if not in general, I usually just tell people I'm just Malaysian Chinese. Can't be bothered saying like, oh, quarter Malaysian Chinese. Oh wait, wait, even I got confused. Quarter Thai, quarter Indian, half Malaysian Chinese. I just say Malaysian Chinese. It's just easier. But I've lived in New Zealand like more than like half of my life already. So yeah. Now, in regards of my job, I'm not really gonna tell you guys what I am at the moment. Um, we'll just, just keep it confidential for now. Um, but I do work full time, so and that's how I get my makeup. I have to work to earn money to, you know, get makeup, but yeah. Um, so we're gonna go over with probably just this rose gold color. And um, my relationship status, I'm currently engaged but I am getting married um, this weekend which is pretty exciting. That's probably why my skin has like broken out and like I was actually supposed to work today but um, I was actually asked to not go work because I was like quite stressed out so they're like oh I'll just take a day off and just yeah have some time for yourself so this is what I'm doing time for myself and but after this I will be doing some um, wedding stuff of course but for now we're just gonna relax and do some makeup but yeah so I'm getting married which is pretty exciting and this is the dark brown color you guys have also asked me where I get my um, Korean beauty products from I do get them from a few different sites as well like depending on the price and the availability of like what they have so um, a few of my favorites would be Jose I have ne no clue how I say them but that's how I say it I say Jose um, I like them a lot I also like um, Miss Beauty Korea I also like um, Korea Depart, which is where I got this stuff from and where else do I shop from? I actually shop from a few. I like Cosme shop a lot too. So yeah, a few different sites. Oh, and Star Korean, I do shop for a few stuff as well. So yeah, a few stuff. Oh, and IBBI. I haven't shopped them for a while now, but they do have like decent prices, like affordable prices, which is good. And then yeah, and also sometimes BB Cosmetic, but not really often depending like what they have in stock so yeah a few different um, places depending on like what products I'm looking for and the price like all of these places the shipping is very affordable for me like either way I know I have to pay for shipping costs so for me it's like I already know like the average cost I have to you know that I would have to pay for the shipping so that's why every time I buy products I don't really care about the shipping anymore because I know the sites and I bought from them so 
yeah so that's what i've done i've just put a little bit of brown and then just blended it out and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my finger because with korean eyeshadow it's just best to just use sh like finger for like shimmery stuff i guess like the fingers just warm it up and then it just blends nicely on the eyes and i'm just whoa that is crazy that is very very nice okay I am very impressed with this eyeshadow Actually, just like this eyeshadow palette in general Makes me tempted to get the other version Whoa, That is crazy It's actually really nice Also, someone asked me if I'm gonna do anything else with my channel So obviously, um, I was supposed to keep my channel very consistent with like um, uploading stuff but my friend got married and I'm getting married it's just it's just got so busy but I told myself I really want to just you know I have this room right now to film so I really want to commit myself to filming more for you guys so this will be like my like the first priority once my wedding is over like to like just film really often because I do have a lot of like videos I do want to film for you guys like everything is just like stacking up at the moment and that's the reason why I just want to like a get ready get ready with me and do like review of some of this products just just so that you know like I'm trying I'm still trying something but at the same time giving you guys some like content to just watch you know but yeah one more week and then it will be more uploads I hope and so yeah I just recently moved into this house so I have this beauty room right here and a few of you guys have noticed the setting and you, you guys said you like it um, I'm still not sure how I'm feeling about it because of like I feel like the lighting is a bit um, weird but but if you guys say you like it I'm gonna stick to it um, I don't have my artificial lighting anymore but I do have them in the garage just in case like if there are times I have to film at night I might still use that but we'll see how it goes we'll try and avoid that and I have uh, eyelashes in my eye so the thing with um, eyelash extension is that try not to use your finger to brush the eyelashes out use like a, like a mascara spoolie I think that's what it's called and just brush so like every day I just brush it nicely so that it just goes up but I am getting like um infill tomorrow like a refill because I've had this extension for two weeks now so it's time to actually refill it I'm not gonna wear eyeliner today I'm just gonna keep it simple but the eyeshadow is actually really nice like I really like the shimmer I like the brown, the neutral brown for the blending. It's actually very, very pretty. So I've used one, two, three, four so far. Very impressed. It's very buttery and very pigmented. And even the shimmer is not like too shimmery. Like there's no fall out from the shimmer, which is great. So yeah, so that's the eyes done. And we'll have some bronzer. I'm going to bronze up my face and I'm just using simple one today and this is the E2 House Gradation Contour I'm gonna get a brush it has like three different colors but I just like to swirl it together I'm not gonna wear blusher today just because um, I can see some red like my red skin underneath so it will just it will just complement my face as blusher plus not going anywhere today so I'm just literally like trying products for you guys so so far, to be honest, the foundation is doing okay. It's just the top part is not doing well. It just looks very dry. But I mean, it will do for now. Okay. So the lip, this one is the Holika Holika Velvet Blanket. And this one is in the color number six, Woody Rose. I decided to just try one now and see how it goes because I'm not really a tin person. But if you guys want me to try the whole collection, let me know down below. But I was just very fascinated with this because packaging is quite cute and I quite like this color. And the wand is like a slight wonky. But I guess that's how it is so that it leans, like sets, leans on your lips really nicely. Like lines on your lips. 
I like the texture. It's very um, definitely very velvety. Reminds me like um, why is it blurry? It's quite like moussey. A very nice rate, like a warm tone rate. I guess it matches with the packaging, which is good. Let's go through some of the other questions I haven't answered. So I've answered how old are you? Um, and then this one says, do you store your lip products according to the brand slash collection and how much you use them? Um, so I will be doing like a beauty room tour for you guys really soon so you guys will see how I store them. But basically I try to store them um, according to the size, according to the brand, yeah just a few. So I'll show you guys very, very soon. I will be filming that very soon for you guys. Um, and so my basic skincare, if you guys want me to do like a skincare routine for you guys, I'm more than happy to do that for you guys. Favorite moisturizing lipsticks, keen on doing that for like a video as well, like a few of my favorites because I do have dry lips. Um, yeah, I think I've answered most of it, which is good. What I'll do now is I'll just leave this on for maybe just like a few hours just to see how the foundation goes, whether it's still remaining the same, whether it has gone worse, whether it has made my dry skin worse, but we'll see how it goes. But for now, it gives like a very nice glowy finish. The color really matches me as well, but I'm just not impressed with the top. It just looks pretty, pretty bad, but yeah. We will see how that goes. Eyeshadow, very, very impressed with it. Even the concealer is actually very creamy, which is nice. I like the lip too. It's like very, very soft. So yeah, so we'll see how this goes and I will come back. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in after two hours of filming and I think I'm done with this video because the foundation is actually creasing really badly on the side here quite a lot and it's starting to get very very patchy as well and like the tint is not long lasting at all it's only like for like two hours it's very very um it's gone worse at the patchy on the top and it's just showing all my creases and stuff so yeah so i'm just gonna end this video so overall all the products are decent except for the bump foundation and i'm just gonna wash this all off exploit my face as well because of my dry patches but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think let me know any products you want me to try if you guys want me to do any more first impressions let me know because i've never really done this before so i wasn't sure like what to say and stuff but hopefully you guys like it and i'll see you guys on my next video bye